Welcome to GSEC Kids Junior. I am so glad that you're here. Today we're going to hear another true story from the Bible about how Joseph saves the grain and learns that God's plan has good things for you to do. But first, let's stand up and sing together. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he does. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. No, that's what I know. That's what I know. No, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad. Hi, I'm Oswe and I teach in the Gator Room. Today's Bible verse is, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. Again, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. Today's key question is, Who has a plan for you? The bottom line is, God has a plan for you. Now let's get ready to watch today's Bible story with me. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. It's me, Kai. I'm so glad you're all here today. I was getting ready for the big ice cream sundae party at the clubhouse. These pictures are a step-by-step -step plan on how to make the most fantastic, most spectacular, most yummiest to the tummiest ice cream sundae ever. Step one, you get a bowl, a spoon, and a napkin, then you're ready to make an ice cream sundae. Step two, add ice cream to the bowl. It can be any kind of ice cream you want. Step three, add the toppings. Ice cream sundaes need lots of toppings. Step four, in what's the last thing we do with our ice cream sundae? We eat it, what a great plan. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? What are you up to? Hi, Ollie. Well, I just finished putting together my plan to make the perfect ice cream sundae. Yes, that is an excellent plan. It's true. I have a story about another great plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oh, I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the cupcake food truck. 
Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! These are my sweet dreams cupcakes, because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Woo! This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the Pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Great job! Seven cows. The Pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. Mm, yum. Mm, yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please. He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh, that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food, so they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. God has a plan for us too, and God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph followed God's plan, and we should too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Ooh. Wow! I loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm excited about following this plan. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too 
Joseph went through, he loved God. Joseph knew that God had a plan for him and he knew that God was always with him. There will be times that are hard for us, but we can know that God loves us, God is with us, and God has a plan for us. And God's plan is the best plan. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for you. Now it's time to have some fun. Today I want you to play sweet dreams with your family. I want you to pretend to sleep. And when you wake up, Talk about the dreams from the Bible story today. For example, you could pretend to go to sleep and be Pharaoh the king. And when you wake up, you can tell your family all about the dream that Pharaoh had. Then if you picked up a bag of September Sunday supplies from the church, you can do today's activity page which is called Medallion. You will find the instructions for the game on the parent guide for September 20th found in the September bag. If you still need to pick up your bag for September, you can call us at the church office. We hope that you have so much fun as you complete your activity page and continue to talk about God's plan for you this week. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for all of the good things that you have planned for me to do. Help me to look for good things to do, even when bad things happen. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us at GSEC Kids Junior today. Remember that Jesus loves you and that you can believe in Jesus too. See you next time.